Hi, for this video, what I want to do is show you how to find the mean of a frequency distribution using class calc. Um, class calc is a free online graphing calculator. Uh, if you were to do this with hand calculations, you first need to find the midpoint of the class since they give it to us as a range of values. We need to find the midpoint of the class. And then we also need the frequency. So we're going to use a table in class calc to help us. Um, if you were doing hand calculations, you would multiply your X values times your frequency. Then you would have to find the sum of your frequency and divide by that value. So the hand calculations will take you a little bit longer than doing it in the calculator. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to find the midpoint or our X values of each of these classes. Uh, to find the midpoint of a class, it's going to be your lower class limit plus your upper class limit divided by two. So for the first one, I would just take the 27 plus the 31 and I would divide this by two. Um, when I do that, I get 58 divided by 2, which gives me 29. So I could do the same process for the rest of these, or what is easier, if you notice to go from one class to the next, I'm adding 5. So 31 plus 5 would give me 36, plus 5 would be 41, plus 5 would be 46 again. So that same concept applies to the midpoint. So instead of having to use the formula four times, I can just add the class width to it to get to the next one. So since this one is 29, my next one would go to 34 and then 39 and 44. So I'm going to put these in as my X values in class calc and these as my Y values. Um, with this, you cannot find it directly using the formula in class calc. We do have to change it to a frequency list and then we can just find the mean of that frequency list. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a table in here I have the values listed out on a piece of paper next to me, so that's where I'm getting them from, but I'm just getting those values from the example that I had. So the first value is 29, 34, 39, and 44. For my Y values, I'm going to put in my frequency list. So my frequency list is the 8, 14, 2, and 3. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna name a variable. So I'm just gonna let my variable be A. It doesn't matter what you name it. Um, I can either start typing frequency and then it will pull up the frequency list and it'll ask you for your X1, Y1, or I could have just done A equals and I can come down here to the menu, go to stat and advanced and I could click on the frequency list. So it's your choice if you wanna start typing frequency uh, by the time you got to Q, it automatically plugged it in. It's going to ask you for your frequency list. So I'm going to put in my X1 value, comma, my Y1 value. And it tells me that there's a 27 item list. Basically what it's done is it's gone and listed out the 29s eight times, the 34s four times, or sorry, 14 times, um, the 39 two times, and the 44 three times. So now that I have a frequency list with the values in there, I can just type in the word mean, or I could have also come to stat and just selected mean. And then I want to find the mean of the frequency distribution A, and it will just find the mean of these values 34. So 34 would be the answer to the mean of this frequency distribution. So instead of having to go through and finding the product, of 29 and 8, 34 and 14, 39 and 2, 44 and 3, and then finding the sum of those products and then dividing by the sum of the frequencies, I can just plug it into class calc to help me get the answer. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you would like me to cover, please let me know that as well.